Welcome to Genuine Core guys. This is the sixth video in the JavaFX animation series and in this video I will show you how to use the path transition in JavaFX. So currently I have the basic JavaFX application with one just one button and I have added a mouse motion listener in order to capture the pixel or the position of the mouse pointer in order to get some idea of the xy axis so this is the zero zero i mean this extreme end is the zero zero position and this extreme end the right bottom end is the highest end that is 731 and 485 point so in this video i will show you how to use the path transition so we uh, let's create a path transition object so the path transition class is available from the javafx.animation package and I'm going to create a new object of this so path transition transition is equal to new path transition and I am going to use the simplest constructor and the first thing that we can set is the node so I'm going to add animate this button JFX button button just like we did before so I'm going to say the node and that should that will be the button and next thing like we done before is to the duration so transition dot set duration and I'm going to set the duration to some kind of uh, millis not seconds I'm going to set it to three seconds duration and the next thing that I want to set is a path so what is actually a path so, so transition dot set path this is the one that is different uh, that is different from the previous cases so this path takes a shape object so there are a number of shape object the, the most simplest type of shape as you know is circle so let's animate the button in a circular shape so I'm going to create the circle which is available from the javafx.scene.shape package so circle circle uh, <coughs> circle equal to new circle and the circle takes a number of parameters and the most simplest one is the radius and we don't want this fill or something like that uh, in order to set color uh, this can be used but here I am going to use the simplest constructor so circle with a double radius and I am going to pass 100 so the radius of the circle will be 100 and the path can be set to circle so now we have the path set transition dot set path and let's set the cycle counter to set cycle count and let that be infinite path transition dot indefinite so it will continue forever and we don't want the auto reverse property so let's just run the transition dot play so so far so good we have set the duration the node and the button let's run the code So now the button is moving uh, in the path of the circle with a radius of 100. So that's it. That's the basic form of path transition. It is basically you can animate your object through any path that you can create in JavaFX. So let's make this a little bit complex. Instead of circle, let us use another shape. Let it be rectangle. So rectangle, rectangle equals new rectangle and in that rectangle we can specify the double width and double height property so I want a rectangle with 100 pixel in one side I mean the x-axis and the y-axis so instead of using the set path I am going to use the rectangle uh, I mean instead of using circle I am using the rectangle and I will run the code so as you can see instead of circle the button is now moving in the rectangular path and one more interesting thing that you can set is the orientation of the trans uh, object so transition dot set orientation and there are two types of orientation possible in java which is first one is none and the orthogonal to tangent this is very interesting when you use it so let's run the code and as you can see it will just rotate the object in order to make a tangent for that path so 
that's it it is not desirable in all cases but in some cases this orientation will be very important so that's about the basics let's just have a look into the remaining shape objects the uh, shape classes are available in the java fx package so we have already seen the circle and rectangle and there is a class for arc you can create arc easily by setting the center points and setting the radius and the by giving the angle and uh, there is an option for creating line by using this line class all that you have to give is to uh, all that you have to give is the start point and end point and there is one interesting thing called the polyline so the polyline is a collection of points and uh, this point the path will be created in between this point suppose in this example this 0 0 is nothing but the relative position it is the all these coordinates are related to the position so the current position is set to 0 0 then it will go to 20 in x axis and 10 in the y axis direction and it will go to the 10 20 points relatively let's run the code in order to understand it in a more better fashion so so we got the polyline and I am going to import it. So this is 0, 0. So compared to the position, uh, I haven't changed the path. Let us set the path to polyline. Now let's run the code. So as you can see, it is coming from 0, 0 and moving to the 20, 10 and it is going 10, 20 and going back to 0. Uh, zero zero so that's about it let us make a more beautiful transition by increasing the size to 200 100 and coming back to 100 200 then going back to zero zero remember this position is relative to the current position in order to make things faster let's decrease the duration to two seconds now let us run the code so as you can see this was our initial position zero zero then it went to the 200 100 from the current position and it came back to the 120 so that's about the basics of java fx shape package and in the next video i will show you how to use the path class from java fx shape class uh, shape package to create some complex transition paths so thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos